This is a short video about the OnCourse project at the University of Lincoln. OnCourse is a JISC-funded course data project that ran from 2012 to 13. You can read more about the project at coursedata.blogs.lincoln.ac.uk. OnCourse was attached to a larger university project to implement a new academic program management system to manage all of the curriculum information at the university. During the OnCourse project, the APMS has launched across the university and is now the place to formally propose new programmes or make changes to existing programmes. It replaces the need to fill in paper or word processor forms and provides assistance with current processes. It'll even do things like check module assessments, add up to 100% and the module links to programme outcomes, avoiding some of the manual checking that had taken place before. There are workflows which guide a proposal through the various approval stages through to becoming a validated programme, making it easier to track progress and make changes. The system doesn't change the fundamental programme validation procedures at the university, but instead it takes advantage of IT to help with it. The systems used particularly by academics involved with programme creation and maintenance and also quality offers. They're considered key expert users who have spent time becoming familiar with it and they can guide others through the process. Crucially, quality offers, officers remain the key point of contact for program creation and modification. The APMS is web-based and available both on and off campus. The screens that you're seeing here are just typical screens showing program and module information. Next we're going to look at our XCRE CAP feed. Um, the feed is at lincoln.ac.uk slash courses.xml. This is the canonical URI uh, which points to the XML feed that comes out of the APMS. The OnCourse project wasn't just interested in the XCRE data, we were interested in what could be done with all of the curriculum information held by our APMS. And so we created a set of APIs for all of that data um, and warehoused the data in our Nucleus database. The Nucleus database is a data store that holds lots of different types of institutional data. Once we developed our APIs, the next thing to do was to build some prototype applications uh, using those APIs and the new curriculum data available to us. Uh, the first one that we built was uh, a simple course finder. Um, the search parameters are broken down into three categories, subjects studied, subjects people are interested in, and then general keywords. Uh, the first two, the subjects studied and subjects that people are interested in, are based on the benchmark subjects used in QAA validation programs. Uh, this ties subjects to programs offered by the university. But it does present a problem in that some words aren't recognised that a potential user may expect. So the keywords are based on text mining that we did of all of our curriculum information using Reuters Open Calais service. Uh, Open Calais is a semantic tagging service um, that provides tags based on the text that you provide it. 
The second application we built using our new APIs uh, was an assignment builder. Um, this is at the request of our School of Computer Science. So the application is based around uh, the idea of an assignment wizard that would make use of the course data already available, such as awards, modules, assessments and staff. Now the purpose of the application is to make the process of writing assignment documentation quicker, easier and more accurate. By tying the application in with assessment data, the assessment strategy delivered within the module will be identical to the strategy as defined in the validated module documents. As well as reducing the amount of data that has to be entered by academics, such as learning outcomes and module details, uh, the versioning and PDF generation will make the writing processes more efficient. Finally, during the on-course project, we also looked at Open Badges. This is a, an initiative by Mozilla Foundation. We felt that with all the curriculum information available to us, um, in particular the learning outcomes, we might consider how open badges could be used to recognise learning outcomes. Um, so we built and released as open source code a simple institutional open badges system that allows someone to log in, uh, be awarded a badge and then deposit the badge in their badge backpack. It was a proof of concept and the code is available for anyone else to use.